All right, so just to give you a quick look of uh, what we're going to need to swap out here, um, these two components have to do with uh, the case feeder. So we're going to have to swap those out because they're a different circumference. This number five is specific for the 9mm shells. Um, you should note though that while 9mm and 223 are very close in size, the 223 uses a number three and the 9mm uses a number five. That's also indicated on the shell plate itself. It'll have a five on it just in case you guys uh, get confused. And then this is the small primer wheel um, and then you'll use this little wrench here to kind of fashion it to the bottom. So I'm going to switch the camera angle so that we can get a better look at removing the uh, primer. House. What we're going to go ahead and do is from the top portion I'm going to remove the primer alarm, uh, unscrew the top part here, you don't need that, and then I'm going to pull the tube out. So we've taken the tube out. Um, and then the only screws you want to loosen here are these guys. We actually have to take them all the way out. If you take any of the other ones out on here, you're just asking for trouble and making more work for yourself that's unnecessary. So um, these black ones are the only ones that actually hold the primer housing on. And um, just put those off to the side. So once this lifts off, there's a couple things we're going to do here. I'm going to set that off to the side for a second. And this uh, little portion here, um, I've already cleaned once, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to wipe this completely out. Now there's grease in here, obviously for a good reason, because that plate needs to slide on there freely. What I'm going to, well, what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and just put some more grease on it here some fresh stuff. Not a whole lot, but just enough to uh, get it going now. There is another part here, this guy, which is for the actual priming portion. This is spring-loaded. You see it's pretty hard to actuate, but this is the small one. The large one is actually in here, so in this unfortunate case, We've actually made a little more work for ourselves by having the uh, live primer shoot in here. But I'm going to try and do it without removing it if I can. It unscrews from the bottom. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get in there without removing this. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and remove it anyways. It's just going to make my life harder by trying to work around it. So, like I said, this extra primer shoot is not a uh, actual Dillon piece. This is an upgrade I put on here. And it's a much needed upgrade, but now you'll see underneath here, it's, uh, let me get, give you a better look at it, because this is kind of an important piece to know about. But you see here's the, the new one. And here is the old one right under there. So I go ahead and loosen that guy. Mm. All right, so I was able to loosen it with the crescent wrench. Once it breaks free, just back it out. And there we go. So, large, small, so we're going to go with small. So, just put it in there like so. Just like everything else, it's hard to get lined up at first, but once you get it going, Good to go. Now this isn't adjustable, 
at all. You can't really adjust the seating depth. All you can really do is try to ram the uh, handle down harder. So now that we've got that squared away, let's go ahead and take a look at the um, bottom of the uh, primer housing here. So what we've got here is the actual plate and you see the little arm here. So we're going to actually take this screw completely out and um, then it'll we'll be able to uh, get this guy out and I'll show you how to do that. Um, just make sure that you have the correct Allen wrench. Oop. Okay, so obviously this is no, no tricky part. Just take this screw out. Now what you're going to want to know here is that from the top here, this is actually a little bit spring-loaded. So when you push your, kind of move it to the side, push your finger up and it releases the tension a little bit and then this guy pulls right out. So there's a couple things to notice here. Um, when we take this guy off, there is a ball bearing and a spring under here. I'm going to take these out because I don't want to lose them. So it's easier to just take them out and put them off to the side. Now, the reason I did that is because the uh, primer tubes here, make sure I get the right one, the small one, it's a lot easier to do this when you have it off because see how it lines up, lines up there? You want it to line up in there and it's usually easier to do that when the, uh, when the uh, bottom part is off. So you just get that lined up and uh, then we can just go ahead and refasten the uh, this guy here. All right, there we go. So now going back to the shell plate, um, the primer plate, so the small one is marked with an S on here just to make sure. And it doesn't matter which way um, it goes the same on both sides and uh, again we want to make sure that we put the spring and bearing in place. Just kind of drop that down in there and uh, put the ball bearing in place, put this over the top of it and make sure that the ball bearing catches in there. Then we're gonna push from the bottom, put a little force on there, then you can slide that into place and then slide it on in so that the screw hole matches up. And then uh, we just screw this guy back in. And uh, let's retighten it. <clears throat> okay. So now we can drop this guy back down, put it in place. I'm actually going to uh, attach this live primer chute from the bottom because it's easier to do with the. Uh, with nothing on. There we go. Make sure that's nice and tight. We've got the new grease on there. So now we're ready to put this guy in place. And what you want to check here is push the handle forward 
give you a different look at this. You want to make sure here, as you see, make sure that that's coming up to feed the uh, to seat the primer. I'm going to make sure that that works good and then um, just make sure that everything's working as expected. And then we're going to go ahead and add our screws back in, tighten this guy up. You want to pay careful attention not to uh, disturb any of these springs here. There's two springs on each. There's one here and then there's another one uh, back here. You don't want to mess with either one of those because they're under a good amount of tension and they're very hard to get back into position. Um, so it's just something to be aware of. And uh, that's about it for the primer setup. Um, last thing I'm going to do here is make sure that yep, that it cycles through and it does. So now we're ready to uh, move on. Okay, so what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to deal with this, this tube here. So all this does is just pull right out. So you've got two pieces here. You've got this long piece that goes directly to the tube. And then you've got a smaller piece here that goes uh, into the little arm which feeds those. Obviously those will both need to be swapped out. They're color coded. I put this on here because I don't swap this out usually enough to remember. Um, but some of them are the same size. Uh, the 223 one is a white one. So you want to, I should have put this in first. Put this guy down in there. It only fits one way. And then this has a little notch on it, obviously, so this only fits one way as well. So you put that down in there. Get your tube snugged up in there, and that's pretty much it for that part. Now, this next part, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so you can get a good look at what I'm talking about. But it's this plate here. Now, this is under tension. So all you have to do is pull this all the way back. This lifts right out. Now there's some grease in here too, so make sure not to uh, remove that because that helps in feeding. And that's pretty much it. So as the shells come down, they're going to come down this black part here and then go into here and then the spring-loaded part pushes them into place. Um, so that's pretty much all you have to worry about with that.